Okay, so how do we use and how do we read, more importantly, how do we read this veneer caliper? So if you look, we got two lines. We got the top one, we got the bottom one. Look back here, on the end, we can see that this end says centimeters. Oh, a little blurry, centimeters right there. And the top says inches. So we're going to read this centimeter line, okay? We're going to use this caliper, and we're going to have to use these two pieces, or these two lines, this reading and this reading, in order to get a reading. Because we can read the very small increments on these calipers. So, let's use this right here. We're going to figure out what the diameter of this uh, is a laser. See my little laser light? We're going to figure out what the diameter is. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my calipers, I'll put it on either end like this, and make sure I slide with my thumb, make sure they're tight. Now I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to take a reading here, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hold it right here so it doesn't slide around. I'm going to get, we'll get close, see if we can get this kind of cleared up for you here. Actually, maybe, yes, there we go. Let's come over here and we'll look at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for where this zero is, right here. Okay. And if we look at that zero, we can see that it is past the one centimeter mark. So we know that it's got to be one centimeter plus some something after. Oops. It's got to be one centimeter plus something after the decimal point, right? Okay, because... We look at the one that go back to that zero again, go to where that zero is, and it's past this one, right? So that's one centimeter. But then we also go one, two, that those are millimeters or tenths of a centimeter. So we know that it's one point one something centimeters. Okay. That's what we're saying, because of where that zero is. Now, that's the trick, is how much 1.1? It's past 1.1. Could it be 1.2? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look at these lines down here, and we want to know where it lines up. Now, here's what it tells us right here. It says 0 0.05 millimeters, right? Which would be... Point zero zero five centimeters, right? So this is what the calipers read to. That what that's telling us is the last number in our reading right here is either going to be a zero or a five. That's the accuracy or the precision, really the precision that we can read to. So if we're looking at this one, okay, come back here to our reading. And what we're going to do is we're going to look and find which one of these lines on this vernier scale, that's the lower scale, lines up with the lines over here. Okay, lines up with the lines up on top. So sometimes I like to flip it upside down. Now it's tougher on the video to see that, but sometimes it helps me see which line lines up. So I'm just going to, because of this video, I'm just going to line it up here and we'll bring it in as close as we can get it. And we want to see, so that actually looks like it lines up pretty good right there. Let's go down that line and see if there are any others that it looks like it lines up with. Well, there's one right here. Look how well that lines up. Almost exactly. So maybe even that one right there, I think, might even be better right there. So what that tells us is, because this one, if we go back, let's go back to the zero. Because the zero looks like it's just a little bit 
this way, to the left of this line, where this one looks like it's almost lined up. So what's that, what that's telling us is we go 1.1 to 9. If it stopped right here, that'd be 9, 0. But since it goes here, we have another 0.5. So that'd be 1.195. So that would be 1.195. Five centimeters, right? So let's come back. See if I... So we're saying this line lined up. If this one lined up, that'd be one point nine, and this would be a zero. But because we have this other half, that's where we get our half. So this would be nine. That would be nine five. That would be ten or a zero. So if this one lined up. That'd be 1.185 right here. This would be 85. This would be 80 because each one of these is the half or the, the five hundredths of a millimeter. Or five, yeah, five hundredths of a millimeter. So this would be 95. So we'd have to the zero, it's 1.1 1 .1 centimeter, 0 0.1 centimeters. And when we look down the line, this one lined up, we said, and so that's one point, so 1.195 right there. So that's how we read it. So our reading would be 1.195 centimeters, or if we wanted to do it in millimeters, we just move that decimal over, right? That decimal would move over, and it would be 11.95 millimeters. And our precision would be to 0 0.05 millimeters. Remember, that means it's either a 0 or a 5. that has to be in that last reading. So that's when, remember, we get that because it tells us right here that we can read to 0 0.05 millimeters. So that would be our reading, 1.0. 195 centimeters or 11.95 millimeters. It'd be the same thing. See 11.95 millimeters right here.